What's up guys, this is Still Rain coming back at you with some more FPV related content. Uh, see today I'm going to be doing a mini review of the Mini Mobius Lens B 135 degree lens. And let's see, where to start? We're going to start with the, um, the buttons and functions on the side. Uh, you have your LED indicator here and there will be another one on top. Uh, right here will be your shutter button this is your mode button back here there's a tiny hole just in case the camera locks up you stick a paper clip or something in there uh, just in case you need to reset the camera see on the other side is the power button push it once just to turn the camera on and hold it down for about two or three seconds to turn it off we'll go ahead and turn it on right now and a front view of the lens pretty tiny all right so the LED indicators uh, the lights indicate um, the different video modes and photo modes the yellow amber is for video so we'll go ahead and switch it to the next one uh, blue is video playback in case you want to do audio audio video out and red is photo also for um, uh, photo and burst mode and uh, when you do charge it and plug it into the wall it turns a steady green LED until and it, 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 eventually it turns off when it's charged okay um, let me see here next will be the size uh, it's approximately uh, 55 millimeters in length uh, 29 millimeters wide and 14 millimeters high. Uh, the weight is around 27 grams which is quite amazing for a camera like this I mean especially with its low profile and everything you know considering you know like a, a Xiaomi Yi which is uh, approximately 69 grams and uh, let's see a GoPro Hero 5 session is 72 and a half grams and uh, Run Cam 3 which I'll be having uh, come in any day now is around 66 grams so pretty low profile camera and there it just went into standby mode after a minute if you're not doing anything with it it'll just shut itself off so uh, runtime is approximately uh, 30 minutes around round or about uh, filming at 1080p 60 frames per second and the battery size is is built in 300 milliamps so it's it's pretty tiny so you know for the the relatively small size and everything it uh, you know it, it has to suffer somewhere so um, you can power it externally uh, I'll show you some of the stuff it comes with it comes with it came with two lens caps uh, it comes with a, a mount which also acts as a heat sink you just screw in there to the bottom. Uh, it comes with a mini USB cable for charging. And here's the audio video out cord, mini USB, uh, and some Velcro. So one of the one of the things I don't like about this camera is that um, it only films for about uh, you know 30 minutes or so on 1080p. But uh, what's good about it is that it comes with this cable, so you could always uh, hook it into a, a 5 volt on your PDB and have it powered longer, you know, if need be. Uh, let's see, uh, it does 1440 video at 30 frames per second, uh, max resolution, uh, you know, 1080p at 60 frames per second, and it does 720p at 120 frames per second. Uh, photo mode, its max resolution is 2688 by 1512. And let's see here. Uh, you go to the Mobius uh, Action Cam website to download the graphic unit interface and firmware for the camera. It's uh, pretty easy, pretty easy to do. Nothing, nothing big about that. Uh, it does have an app for your phone and it's not 
made by the developer um, but it, it is pretty good it's free to see if it works with your particular phone initially but after an hour of downloading the app uh, you have to pay I think it's like three bucks or something like that to uh, to actually use all the features once it works now the unfortunate part with that is is that be able to use the app you're gonna to have to have uh, an OTG cable that they recommend which is I think they could be anywhere ranging between uh, seven eight bucks all the way up to 15 I've seen them so you'll need that and then you know plug it in to the uh, the mini USB that came with it and then it connects right up uh, like I said, a few things I don't like about this camera is it's it's got no developer configuration app. Um, it has no Wi-Fi, you know, like some of the bigger cameras. Uh, but I mean, like I said, you know, the small size is going to, it's going to suffer somewhere, the small size and the weight. Um, only 30 minutes run time on 1080p. I mean, it's all right, but if you're out in the field, you know, flying all day it's gonna go dead pretty quickly so that's not a good thing but it's you know like I said you could always get some 5 volt out from your PDB and attach it that way and the uh, the battery like I said it only causes 30 minutes of runtime at 1080p it can't be changed it's actually inside the case so that's never a good thing but you know it is what it is you know for for its size and weight it's it's got to give give up something somewhere so and I'll also also show you guys how it uh, how pretty compact it is on a build like this as you can see you know with a normal Xiaomi E or you know like a, a session 5 or a run cam 3 it's going to be sticking up relatively about the same height maybe not as wide but a little bit deeper you know it's, it's going to cause higher center of gravity uh, you know and, and plus the added weight you know of the other cameras what's good about this one though is I think it's it's perfect for for racing builds you know such as this or anything where you want a lower center of gravity you know less wind resistance you know it'd sit on there something like that you know pretty pretty tiny overall so I think it's it's great in that aspect but it's it's lacking in others but you know is always a give and a take in this hobby so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and um, go ahead and, and uh, oh I forgot to to mention the SD card slot is right there so I'm gonna go ahead and cut away to some of the um, the footage this thing gets at 1080p uh, let you guys decide and, and see where we go from there.
All right, guys. Hopefully that that uh, FPV video came through pretty clear. Um, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Uh, please leave any comments down below. Uh, like, subscribe. Uh, you know, if you you enjoyed the video, I should be having more coming out here pretty soon. Uh, my Run Cam Three should be here any day. Uh, I'll do a head-to-head -head comparison between the two since. This camera and the Run Cam 3 are more similar than like a GoPro Hero 5 session. Um, I also forgot to mention this is about a $60 camera, which really isn't too bad for for what it is. Um, I should also be having uh, the the bo uh, the uh, Boss Cam Commander goggles coming in here pretty soon, and I'm also going to be doing a review on the. EV Peak CQ3 charger. So stay tuned for more uh, for, for more content and uh, thank you guys for watching. Bye.